Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review <laughs> with me, Peter the Master of Prophets. Today, you're on by Peter and Pina. Yeah, give him a nickname if you haven't yeah. already. But <laughs> carrying on with the Christmas festive winter seasonal theme, so this one was requested by Alicia Belveres. I think that's your name. Sorry for if I'm not pronouncing it right. <coughs> because I don't know if that's a Belicia, is that a he or is that a she? I don't know. You, uh, or Felicia requested this uh, because Felicia watched my original review of this from back when I started in 2009, when I was a shy little boy who knew jack shit about beer. Those reviews are so embarrassing to watch, but I haven't had this beer since. So it's going to be fun to try this again. It's a, the, none other than the Golden Carolus Christmas. And Golden Carolus, especially the, the uh, Blau van der Kaiser, is great. Uh, they make some good beers. They're brewed by a brewery called Proeve uh, Anka. I think that's how you'd say it. And uh, yeah, this is a 10.5% uh, Belgian strong dark ale. So, let's get it popped. See, chances are that Chances are like you're it. not gonna like it. Whoa, this one again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Chances are Peter won't like it because he didn't like the last Belgian Strong Dark Ale, but we'll see. So we got the Golden Carolus Noël or Christmas Port, and it should be interesting to see how much I like this now. Because back in the day when I reviewed this, I gave it a 98. It looks nice. And um, and see how my palate's changed. But I reviewed this, uh, I got this from a, a calendar of beers I got from the place I worked at back in the day when I started the channel. A Christmas calendar, which I reviewed. So the first, actually... Videos on TMOH was a Christmas calendar, and we're doing it still five years later almost. It's crazy, but it's it looks nice, a nice kind of reddish, yeah, hot red, red color. beige kind of foam, foamy head. Let's check out the aroma. Oh, a star anise, star anise, oh, uh, English, yeah, uh, caramel toffee, uh, butterscotchy, almost those dark fruits. Mm -hmm. Wow. It, it doesn't have that sharp a string. Well, the other one didn't have that in the aroma either. But caramel, toffee, uh, brown sugar. What are you smelling? Yeah, basically what you smell. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly I get the uh, anus. Anise. Anise. Anise? 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 I don't know what to say. Anise. <laughs> But yeah. it smells really nice, quite complex. Maybe a little bit of clove. A touch of alcohol too, wow. Smells awesome. I haven't had this since I started the channel. I can't wait to try this again. Let's try it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. That is really nice. <laughs> Much better than the one we just had. It's pretty good, yeah. You like this more? I like this one, yeah. I hated the other one. Yeah, but this one is actually pretty good. Wow, um, it's not a ninety-eight for sure because mm. I've had better now. But really nice, cheery mouthfeel, um, kind of dry. It's got some graininess, caramel, toffee, star anise. What are you picking up? Clove, dark fruits, touch of red grapes, brown sugar. Yeah, sorry, sorry I have just, the um, just tasting dark awesome. fruits and the uh, I've got a good <laughs> um, and cloves too. The caramel tones, the toffee, the kind of butterscotch notes, dark fruit, chewy, like fresh break, baked bread. This is like dead on traditional Belgian Christmas beer. It's I mean, good, this yeah. is really nice. Probably not a 98 for me anymore. I mean, it's not my favorite style of beer. I, there's like barrel aged spirits that are so much better. So, but for what it is, an iconic Belgian strong dark ale, this is still freaking phenomenal. So I'm, I'm gonna go 95. It's still, it is really good. I was mind blown in the video back in the day. I'm not mind blowing today, but I can still see why I liked it so much because it's such a nice drinking Belgian strong dark ale. And uh, yeah. It's kind of reminiscing the old days on YouTube when I was a shy little kid sitting with my sister's camera recording beer reviews before I moved out 
just before I started university. God damn it, it's been a while. <laughs> what about you, Peter? Or Plina? Well, this is not my style of beer. Um, we found out in the previous beer. I, I see why you like it, and I like it too, but not as much as you do. I, I think it's a 75 at most. <laughs> 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 it's just you're he's a harsh critic today guys. But it's um no it, it's it's definitely Natalie a very drinkable beer, it's pretty complex in the taste and um, But I, I, I get a feeling that or a feeling a pa I see a pattern now. You don't like Belgian strong dark ales. <laughs> no, not that much now. Definitely <laughs> let us know what you think of the Golden Carolus Christmas or Noel. Depending on where in the world you are, I think it's only called Noël in Belgium now. Maybe they changed it to Christmas, I don't know. But let us know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And stay tuned for another winter slash Christmas themed beer review. Now we're going to get ready to go to an awesome ass metal show with this band. Check them out, Mercenary, they rule. And uh, stop rambling now, Peter, and we're going to say cheers. And <laughs> see you guys in the